What's up guys, welcome to Dyna Demos. I'm Rod and today I'm gonna to tell you about five must-have upgrades you need to make to your Dyna. So stay tuned and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right guys, so the first upgrade that I think everybody should make to their Dyna is a polyurethane bushing handlebar and grip upgrade all right I know that's like three things but it's all pretty much right here so I think uh, we're gonna group it into one all right so polyurethane bushings all right um, I've done them to all my bikes I did my FXR my other Dyna Lego has them on his Nelson has <clears throat> polyurethane bushings on his bike all right and this is a relatively cheap upgrade. It's like 40 or 50 bucks to <clears throat> just slide those bushings in and it's pretty easy. You just take out the bottom bolt, slide it up, slide your uh, risers or your handlebars up and then push the new bushings in. All right, and this is gonna greatly um, improve your ride quality so much, all right? When I had rubber ones, my bars would flex or I'd hit, I'd hit the uh, brakes and my bars would flex and it just didn't really feel real solid to me. So I went ahead and did that upgrade. <clears throat> bars same thing when I uh, when I had the stock bars on my bike all right I was down here long rides would kill my back kill my shoulders and uh, me and Lego we both went with the lucky 13s by lucky Dave's great bars check them out um, but there's a lot of other options you could do a riser handlebar combo <clears throat> if you're into apes you could do that thing but I think uh, Everybody should look into changing out the bars from stock because one they're ugly and two they're uncomfortable All right, and then lastly with with the first upgrade we got grips. All right Legos rocking Harley uh, Grips right here. There's a lot of other companies that make them um, That's all gonna be based on the rider and what they like all right Some people like it to feel bare some people like big puffy comfortable ones It's all gonna be based on the person what they like and their riding style so that's my first upgrade that I think everybody should make to their Dyna. All right guys, so the, the next upgrade that I think everybody should make is uh, changing out their headlight. All right, that stock headlight isn't very good. Um, so you should look at uh, other companies like Moons or the Amazon one. Those are very affordable options and the quality of those lights are really good. Uh, you can check out our video that we did. It was like one of our first videos we ever shot. and. Uh, we put them side by side with the Harley Davidson Daymaker, which is like a $400 headlight and compared it to like 150 and like a $50 headlight. So uh, there's affordable options out there. Um, check them out, read reviews. Uh, Lego's running the Moon's uh, Fly Eye, all right? And then he's also got a Moon's MC light bar. And you can also get these light bars from other places, but uh, the reason I think this is a very important upgrade because you want to be seen. If you do a lot of night riding, um, you want cars to see you. In addition, you want to see what's on the road. All right, nobody wants to hit that pothole going like 75 miles an hour. Or if you do a lot of uh, back road riding, you know you want to see the deer before it darts out in front of you. So very, uh, very important upgrades in my opinion, changing out that headlight and adding a light bar or light pods. So the third upgrade that I want to talk about that I think everybody should make is relocating their tack and speedo from the tank up to the handlebars. All right, me and Lego, we talk about this one all the time. <clears throat> this probably actually should have been number one on the list because we've talked about it like almost in every one of our moto vlogs because we love this upgrade so much. Um, getting the Kitzel kit um, and the Gorilla Cables harness, all right? Uh, these, these, this upgrade is very important because I don't like taking my eyes off the road. All right, when I, when I first got my Dyna and I didn't have that upgrade and I'd be riding and I'd always have to look down, it just made me feel real uncomfortable taking my eyes off the road. So if you don't wanna take your eyes off the road, which I don't think anybody should ever take their eyes off the road, but um, this is an upgrade that you should definitely look into. Uh, we also got install videos for all this stuff and uh, yeah, we've been running these products for a while and they've they've stood the test so far. So relocating your speedo and tack and with the Gorilla Cables harness is uh, my number three must have upgrade. All right guys, so the next upgrade that I think everybody should um, do to their Dyna is get a new seat, all right? There's a lot of, there's tons of 
uh, companies that make seats. You got Lucky Dave's, you got Saddleman, you got Mustang, you got LaPera. San Diego Customs makes a nice seat. All right, this is probably gonna be uh, one of the harder upgrades to shop for because there's so many options out there and everybody's built different. You know, everybody comes in different shapes and sizes. So uh, me and Lego, we run the Lucky Dave's. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about the Saddleman. I've also heard a lot of good things about the Lucky, or I'm sorry, the uh, San Diego Customs seat as well. I had a LaPera on my FXR, which I liked, but I think I like this one a little more. It, uh, it's a lot more comfortable, a little more padding. So uh, that's my number four upgrade that everybody should look into is getting a new seat. All right, guys, so the fifth upgrade that I think everybody should make to their Dyna is a new rear suspension or any suspension in that matter all right there's a lot of different options that you could uh, do there's a lot of uh, different price points it's all based on the person all right i have the rwd's piggybacks all right ever since i've put these on i feel like i'm on a cloud uh the, it improved the ride quality so much uh eventually me and lego want to look into doing some some front suspension stuff as well uh, because we both noticed when we hit the brakes real hard, we got a lot of dive, um, and that's not good. So that's another thing you can do. There's there's a bunch of different options, a bunch of little things you can do to improve your suspension. Like we just did the Villain to Hero fork brace. Um, I have a True Track front front and back. Here's the front one. Um, Lego can go look over it as a Villain to Hero fork brace. There's a lot of different fork braces. Um, I think that one retails for like 140 bucks or something like that. So some of these options are more affordable than the others. It, it all just kind of depends on what your price point is, uh, how comfortable you want to be because the more money you spend, the better your ride quality is going to be. So that's the number five upgrade that I think everybody should make to their Dyna because that stock suspension is garbage. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Again, this is my opinion on five must-have Dyna upgrades. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, these are more based on safety and rider comfort comfortability. All right, we're gonna be coming out with uh, probably more videos in the future, like maybe one based on performance, one, maybe one based on aesthetics. But uh, this was just my opinion based on rider safety and comfort. Um, please, if you're a subscriber or a viewer to our channel, please, slide in our comments and let us know what you think uh, are your five must-have upgrades. We'd love to hear. Uh, everybody's got a different opinion on this stuff, so make sure you slide in our DMs or slide in our comments. And as always, I'm Rod from Dyna Demos. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.